Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you guys and most of what I have for you guys today are kits that I'm planning to use fairly soon. Um, some of them are for the remainder of fall and then I have a few winter slash Christmas ones that I'm really excited to share and also some new shops here and there. So anyways, overall really excited to show you guys what I've got. The first kit here is from Panda Bird Designs and let me zoom you out just a touch so you can see, oops, wrong way. Also, if you can hear something kind of loud in the background, that's just my laundry going. I did have to um, do an emergency load because I spilled some salsa all over myself, so I had to get that going. Um, but anyways, this is going to be my Halloween kit and I'm really excited because I feel like this artwork is really unique. I haven't really seen it in any other shops. Um, so I purchased, I think, I purchased a la carte so it's just three sheets and I'm planning on pulling in some other uh, functional items from my leftover stash so um, let's see my order came with this little card that's got like a uh, little snowflakes on it and then in terms of the kit that I got here are the nine full boxes that are included of course I love me this little cat pattern it's so cute and then this box in the middle says boo we've got three half boxes at the bottom here we've got these nine um, half scallop boxes, which are kind of her signature, um, I guess, item. And then we have some quarter boxes, some flags, appointment labels, and then three more half boxes down here. And the last page has this bottom washi that I absolutely love. I don't like spiders at all, but when it looks like this, it just looks so pretty. And then we have um, some date covers here and washi strips. So these three sheets are pretty much all I need for planning. And like I said, I'm going to um, probably pull in a lot of other functional stuff from my collection, but this base kit is a really good option. And um, I end up saving quite a bit of money from just purchasing these sheets instead of like the full kit. So anyways, that is my Halloween kit from Panda Bird Design. The next kit that I have is from Paper Dove Shop, and the first thing that came with my order is this um, journaling card that says wake up and smell the coffee, and it's in foil, which is really pretty. And the kit that I got is perfect for fall. I think I'm gonna use this next week in my planner, and so I really wanted to do this haul so I can start using the kit. Um, but anyways, here we have the eight full boxes and then one sidebar tracker. I picked this up in the mini kit format, so it only comes with three pages, but it has lots of functional goodies. On this page, we have the today and to-do headers. We have six half boxes and three quarter boxes. We've got heart checklists, some um, sidebar trackers, build do stickers, icons, and then a large planner. Um, she definitely fits a lot of stickers and wastes no space. And then the last sheet here has the gorgeous bottom washi. I love this so much. And then we have the date covers and some washi strips, as well as a weekend banner written in this really pretty script font at the bottom. So. I just picked up this one kit from her when she was having a sale. I think it was the Planner Boss Collective that she was in, and um, I really felt like these colors are so pretty for fall, um, and I don't have anything quite like it, so I wanted to add this to my fall kits. Up next, I have my Thanksgiving kit from Lexi Kylie Designs, which is exciting, but I just noticed that um, this was supposed to go with my Panda Bird Design order. Um, this is a little freebie, and it has these gold foiled um, half scallop labels. So yeah, like I mentioned, these little labels are her signature, and I love that these ones came in gold foil. Um, but onto my Thanksgiving kit from Lexi Kylie Designs. Um, I absolutely love this kit when I first saw it, and my um, kit came with this little freebie, which has all these little matches like boxes and this is also Thanksgiving theme which is perfect like this one says turkey day this one says Black Friday family time and then thankful and here are the nine full boxes in the kit I love all of these especially this chalkboard art one that says happy Thanksgiving and then this little banner that says fall I just think it's so pretty and so perfect to celebrate Thanksgiving here we have some quarter boxes at the bottom this next page we have the bottom washi and it's slightly on the skinnier side so I think I can pull in um, like another little washi to layer or something like that. We've got these glitter headers and some washi strips. On this page we have, okay, so this shop is new to me so I'm not familiar with her kit formats, um, but it looks like we've got some build do stickers, a day off um, little icon banner here. We've got the Monday through Sunday tracker. Ooh, this is really cute. It says get it done and it's got this like squiggly arrow on the side. It's a three heart checklist. We've got some half boxes here, some appointment labels, quarter boxes, and then uh, various headers at the bottom. 
And then this is the functional sheet, it looks like, with a weekend banner. I really love this. Um, it's got the little pumpkins on the side, which is so festive. Ooh, it comes with another full box. This one says, give thanks with a grateful heart. We've got two habit trackers, some heart check flags. We've got icons and other flags. And then all of these awesome text stickers, which I really like. And I love the font that she uses. And also the little icons are just so cute. Ooh, this little TV is adorable. So I'm really excited to use this for Thanksgiving. Again, this is a new shop for me, so I am excited to use this kit as I will get to play around with like a new uh, format a little bit, and that's always um, really fun. So that is my Thanksgiving kit from Lexi Kylie Designs. This next kit is from another shop that's new to me and it's called Nicole Alexia Designs. Um, she was having a sale, I think she was participating in the Ultimate Planner sale because it says UPS freebie. So I did get to pick up this kit when it was on sale, which is really awesome. And um, this kit that I got is so gorgeous um, that I really, really love it. I couldn't pass it up. And it looks like the little freebie that I got also has the colors that match the kit, which is really nice so I can use this little freebie on the week that I use this kit. So on to the kit this is called cozy and it's got really gorgeous silver foiling and her foiling is absolutely perfect like I don't see any um, black marks or anything like that and um, I just love the artwork of this kit or I'm sorry not the artwork but the photographs that are in this kit um, I do enjoy using photograph kits every now and then in my planner it's not something that I like every single week but I do um, like to kind of pull it in just to spice up my planner a little bit and this is the perfect combination of photo and foiling so we've got nine full boxes here which are all super cozy like we've got the hot cocoa and this really warm looking beanie um, this girl with her little fuzzy socks and everything and then on this page we have the hello weekend banner um, it looks like we have all the stuff for sidebars on this side we have um, some text icons as well as other like functional icons and then some heart check flags here at the bottom and this color scheme is just so pretty it's like all the combination of like dusty rose and mauve and all that good stuff um, the next page oh I also want to mention that this kit is on glossy um, I usually don't prefer glossy stickers but I try to remind myself that glossy does work better for photo kits and for foiled kits um, so I did pick this up in glossy and then on this page we've got some like appointment labels here at the top we've got four glittery half boxes some little things and headers and then the last page has this gorgeous bottom washi that has um, this foiling and it says let's stay in with a snowflake on the corner of this side and it's so pretty we've got three more half boxes some third boxes and then some washi strips here so that is everything in this kit I believe I picked this up in the mini kit format and you may have noticed that I've been purchasing smaller kits lately I'm really trying not to be wasteful and um, just being better about like spending money on planner stuff and budgeting so anyways these mini kits work perfectly for my planning style so I've been trying to do that more often um, so yeah that is the kit that I picked up from Nicole Alexia designs the next shop I've got here is Paper and Milk, and this is one of my all-time favorite shops. And the shop owner, Denise, is super sweet and has become a good planner friend of mine. And I was really excited she actually was part of the Planner Boss Collective sale, so I did pick up a few sheets from her shop. The first thing that came with my order is this really cute fall sweater, um... Oh, I'm sorry, fall weather little journaling card. And this is her character, Maru the Marshmallow. And he's all bundled up in like fall gear. And then she sent along a couple of these, um, what are these called? Die cuts, I guess, or maybe stickers. This one might be a sticker. I'm not quite sure. They might just both be die cuts for journaling. Um, but this one has Maru wearing a pumpkin hat, drinking a pumpkin spice latte. And this one says, be patient with yourself, which is so beautiful. And I would love to add this to my Hobonichi, which I haven't used in quite a while, but I've been wanting to restart my um, journaling in it. So we'll see. And then I also received this little sampler, which is super cute. It has, um, again, the little pumpkin hat Maru. It has a pumpkin spice latte, an envelope sticker. This one says PBC sticker and then a quarter oh, I'm sorry a half box right here so for my order the first thing I got are these little pumpkin spice latte stickers and they're so cute I did already pull in a couple of them into my planning uh, this past week when I used a spread or like a kit that had these colors and then I got a sheet of these really cute ice cream stickers I think these are adorable on this page we have the hand lettered happy hour stickers and I love that there are two like different styles or two different fonts that she has and her writing is super cute I love this sheet um, this is like a beach maru 
through sheet and I actually don't own a lot of beach stickers and not that I go very often but I realize that every time I go I have a hard time like finding a sticker to pull in so I definitely had to pick up a sheet of those um, this page says doing a snooze and it's so cute again two different kinds of um, writing and then the sticker has Maru sleeping in a bed and then the last sheet is the reading time sticker which I don't really own any book stickers either so I don't really have I need to pull in when I'm reading, so I thought this would be a great sheet as well. So that is all of the sheets from Paper and Milk, and again, she has some of my favorite stickers. Her doodles are so cute, and yeah. This next shop is another one of my favorites, and this is Dizzy Daisy Dreams. Um, her shop was one of the first ones I ever purchased from, so she holds a really special place in my heart. And Daisy, the owner, also started grad school, so she did close her shop for quite some time. She recently reopened for just a really short period of time for maybe two weeks. I think her shop is going to be closed again on November 8th or November 9th, so definitely check that out as soon as you can um, if this video is up before then. But here is a little sampler that came with my order super cute and has all her adorable icons I love this sloth sticker and then she also included a really cute holiday sampler so it's got like this elf with a long list I guess I can like write in my own names or something and then uh, a Christmas Eve tech sticker and Christmas Day and then just some other holiday goodies um, so I just kind of restocked on some of my favorite sheets in case she closes for a long time again so I picked up these little workout stickers with the shoes and the dumbbells um, this is a new sheet for me it's really perfect for when I buy something that I maybe shouldn't have. So the text in here says got spendy and it's basically like this money flying away. So that would be perfect. And then let's see what's next. Um, I got a sheet of her sushi stickers, which are super cute. I got these painting ones because I realize that sometimes when I get crafty or I want to paint something, I don't really have any stickers to mark that with. I definitely had to restock these. These are my favorite beer stickers. As you guys probably already know, you probably see them in my spreads all the time. And then um, I got these dim sum stickers, which are cute. It's got like the little buns inside and then some other goodies on a plate and then the last sheet are these box stickers which I figure could mark um, larger happy mail like packages that I get or um, when I have to move stuff because I do anticipate having to move my office again this year so that would come in handy so um, I guess I didn't restock as many sheets as I thought um, a lot of them were actually new for me so that's kind of exciting I'll get to add some new Dizzy Daisy Dream stickers to my collection Next, I've got a couple kits from Shop Jessica Hearts, and I actually placed two different orders um, pretty close together because uh, when she released the second kit, which I'll go into, I loved it so much, so I just had to make another purchase. But um, between the two orders, I received this like card that says Shop Jessica Hearts on here, and then on the back, it just says, thank you so much for your order. I hope you love it, which I always do. I love her stickers so much. And then this little card has a really interesting feel on it, as you, can, as you might be able to hear, um, but I don't know what to do with this. I guess it could be used for journaling, but I think I'm just gonna use it as a little decoration for my planner desk. And then one of my orders came with this little me time set. I'm not sure if this was like accidentally included um, because I didn't get this, but I think it's really pretty and it's perfect because you can kind of mark like what you do for me time on the side. And the first kit I got is definitely a Christmas themed kit. So this is, I think the first Oops, wrong way. I think this is the first Christmas kit that I have so far. And when I saw this, I just loved it so much. It's so unique and I haven't really seen um, this artwork anywhere else. So I definitely wanted to pick it up. So here are the eight full boxes and I did purchase mini kits for both of these kits. Um, so the format is the same. Basically, she includes four boxes on this page and then the extra four boxes in this little half sheet. Here we have the half boxes, some uh, appointment labels, quarter boxes, and then a weekend banner, which is really cute with like some of that little holly in the background. On this page, we have the bottom washi, which I absolutely love. I love this little like snow flurry scene. I think it's so pretty. We've got some icons, a habit tracker, um, some flags, washi strips, functional icons, and then half, or I'm sorry, quarter boxes over here. And then the last sheet of this mini kit has um, headers, little things, some more headers with like the flurry background. We've got some three heart checklists, a quarter box, um, some other three heart checklists, a, a little bit different, and then a Monday through Sunday box for your sidebar. So definitely um, very useful for my planning style. I find that her mini kits are pretty much enough for a week for me, and I just kind of pull in a couple other things to um, have enough boxes, but generally I really like her mini kits. And then the second kit that I got is called 
called Let It Snow. And again, because I just got this Christmas kit, I really did not need another winter themed kit from her, but I just couldn't pass this up. It's so pretty. And this box here says Let It Snow. And then this one says, baby, it's cold outside. So I think it could really work as like a Christmassy kit since these are like Christmas songs, but um, I'm not going to use it during the month of December. I'm planning to use it either in January or February. And I just love these full boxes so much, especially the one with the deer. I think it's so adorable. And then this one with the car. Over here, again, same format. We have the half boxes, appointment labels, and two quarter boxes, as well as a weekend banner. Um, I love how Shop Jessica Hearts always changes up her weekend banner to match the, th the theme of the kit. And then on this page, I love this bottom washi. I think it forms a really gorgeous scene, as you can see. Um, this one would go on the left, so this tree would just kind of be a continuation on this side. And I think it's just so pretty that it forms a little scene at the bottom. Um, so same thing, we have flags, uh, habit tracker icons quarter boxes and then washi strips and the last sheet we've got headers little things um, three heart checklists another quarter box and then a Monday through Sunday um, sidebar tracker so again love her mini kit formats and I love both of these kits so much I could not pass it up when I saw this artwork I feel like it just totally screams me in every way and yeah just had to have it so um, that is everything that I got from shop Jessica hearts the next thing that I wanted to share in this haul are not stickers, but these little washi samples. So I purchased this from a shop called, let me see if I can remember the name. Oh my goodness. It's called Oso oh Washi, and she sells a lot of like washi samples, including these ones from Simply Gilded. Um, so I really, really love the Simply Gilded bows, but it's just definitely something that I have to really consider carefully, just because like I've mentioned, I have been trying to budget better lately. Um, um, and as much as I love these bows, they do tend to be a little bit costly because um, I think when you purchase it from the website, it's like $8 for the um, two washies that come together. So for example, like a set of these washies, the thinner and the thicker one together is $8, which is actually a really great deal, but I don't really need full washi rolls of like every single color. I really just don't really use it that much to need it. And I feel so wasteful like purchasing it if it's not something I absolutely need in my collection. So I found kind of an alternative way to go about it. Um, so Oso Washi has these little washi samples and I think it's like, I can't remember exactly how much, maybe like a dollar fifty or two dollars or something for um, a little sample of like to, I think it's like 24 inches of washi, which is actually quite a good amount. I think that would be enough for the bottom washi of like two different spreads. And so I picked out some colors that would be perfect for fall and Christmas. So these like greens and reds would be perfect for Christmas spreads. And again, it's not really colors that I need to use all the time. Um, for the colors that I love, like pink, purple, and stuff, I do have the full rolls of those. But these ones that I won't use quite as frequently, I figured these little samples would be plenty enough. And she also also included a little extra one in here so that was really nice of her so anyways I got these nine colors of simply gilded washi and I know this is not um actually you know that cost effective because you could say you know for a couple more dollars you could have the whole roll but for me it's just not feasible or you know realistic for me to purchase all the rolls of all these colors that I want um so this is just kind of my alternative way of going about it and I know it doesn't work for everybody I know um a lot of people like having those full rolls which is awesome but it's just not something that I'm choosing to do so yeah anyways that's the purchase from Oso oh Washi the last thing I wanted to include in this haul is um, a set of bows from a shop called Wonderfully Made Craft and she sent along a little business card and this was a gift from the shop owner which was really sweet. I think these bows are so cute. So we've got um, the same pattern. It's like this light blue mint colored with this blush pink and we've got a larger bow and a smaller bow. I think they're both adorable. I love how the smaller bow like scrunches in this way. Super cute. And then also one of these... Um, I guess page flags, I'm not quite sure what these are called, but like a little ribbon and they're all little paper clips that you can put at the top of your planner. Um, and I think they're just really, really cute. So thank you so much. Um, I think the shop owner's name is Dennis's or Denise's Barbosa. So thank you so, so much for sending along the sweet little gift. I love these bows. I think they're so, so cute. 
All right, you guys, that is my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found some things that you might like to check out. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.